Everyone deserves a chance to thrive and reach their full ability. That's the mission of the Euclid-based HELP Foundation. Yeah, the foundation is a provider of educational services for children and adults with developmental disabilities. I had the chance to visit one of their unique programs that not only offers incredible culinary options, but also focuses on building a vibrant and inclusive community. What kind of size do you like? Do you want a small, medium, or large? At Susanna's Cafe in Midtown Cleveland. We got whole milk, oat milk. Your caffeine fix will be served with a smile. I'm learning how to do customer service, which I'm good, really good at. As a barista in training. Tell me when to stop. Let's take a look, keep going, and beautiful. Mackenzie is learning all kinds of skills. That's because Susanna's Cafe by Help Harvest is an initiative from the Help Foundation, a nonprofit providing services and supports to those with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We realized that there was a need as kind of the system transitioned for supports for people who wanted to, to you know, enter the workforce. So we started these vocational habilitation programs. Tammy Honkala, president and CEO of Help Foundation, saw the need to create curriculum to teach people the skills to be successful in the workplace. We have to do better work as a community to kind of bridge that barrier because it's hard. It's hard for anybody going into a work environment. But when you add this other layer of kind of limitations that individuals may have with navigating some of those challenges, that becomes a barrier for them. Susanna's Cafe by Help Harvest is just one part of a three-tiered program aimed at creating pathways to employment, which includes the Help Harvest Greenhouse and Help Harvest Kitchen. You can uh, grab a coffee, you can uh, purchase breakfast or lunch. You'll come here and we always have an individual that we are providing services to who's learning um, while they're here. And helping those individuals. Be some foam, so line yep. it up and you see that 10. Is Quinn Bader, cafe manager. The big focus is obviously, you know, facilitating the business, but making sure that they get the vocational training that they deserve. That's our overall goal is employment in the community uh, in a competitive setting. The setting of the cafe itself inside the Cleveland Foundation building has been an important part of its impact. The partnership between the two, a natural fit, says Leslie Dunford with the Cleveland Foundation. That aligns so much with what the Cleveland Foundation does, where we, we want to leave no Clevelander behind. We want to make Cleveland better for everyone who calls this place home. And building a place to feel at home is part of the larger mission here. When you feel like you belong, you want to be here. And that is kind of what everybody says, like, I had a great day. I had a great day because people made me feel valued and respected and loved, and they appreciated how hard I was working. We add two scoops of hot chocolate powder. For Mackenzie, it's all about connecting with her customers. There you have it. Beautiful. Hot chocolate. And that feeling of pride in a job well done. I've always wanted to be working at this place as my permanent job. Cheers. It'll be like a dream come true. Well, if you are wondering where the name Susanna's Cafe actually came from, it's named for the daughter of former Cleveland Foundation president and CEO Ron Richard, whose daughter Susanna has a disability and I'm told loves to come in and frequent this cafe. But really wonderful curriculum happening there and great hands-on training. Yeah, good for uh, Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. She did an awesome job and just smiles, smiles all around. Yeah, That's makes cool. a mean cup of hot cocoa too, which may be a little warm for a day like today, but